I, I guess the first thing to say is, Billy, I know that you wrote and directed this film. I feel like you would have had to write this character for Tiffany Haddish. Like there was no one else in your mind who you thought could play this role. Like when you finished it, you were like, this is me and Tiffany. It was, from the time I first saw her, uh, once we had completed the screenplay, I went, all right, if we get a chance to make this, who, who, who could do this? Mm -hmm. And then I saw her by chance on SNL, host when she hosted SNL. And, and I had never seen her before, which was great because she was fantastic and funny and charming and, mm -hmm. and, and so likable and, 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 and honestly great to look at. That you go, oh man, what a combination. She, and she was dancing and she was great in the sketches. And I went, how do we, how do we get this to her? So we figured out a way and got her the script. And then um, she actually flew in from Africa and, and she was jet lagged. What? Yeah. And, yeah. and we, we met up in an office um, and, um, and I went, oh man, it's, it's even more than I thought because the performance person is fantastic. Yeah. But, but who she is as a person is even better. And then, in this movie, I feel like you, Tiffany, you tap back into your bar mitzvah, bar mitzvah days. I mean, you gave a vocal performance. I was like, did people know that Tiffany can sing? I don't know that people knew that <laughs> Tiffany was like, give me the mic. I'm ready to go. <laughs> It was super fun to do that. And when Billy's like, can you sing? I was like, well, you know, I do my thing, you know, and I really. And then I sang one time and, I was, and it was like, we're going to get you a vocal coach. I was like, really great. Like, because I needed, I needed, I needed, I need the coaching. I need the coaching. I, yeah. I mean, look at the song she's singing, you know, with a big song, with a big performance. There's three of them, but, but yeah. to, to sing a Janis Joplin song at a bat mitzvah. Come on. Um, was, you know. Come on, come on. Yeah. And we had written that, and we had, we had written that into the script before I knew of, of that she had done that. That that was a big part of her training. Was oh was yeah, it, oh, I had yeah. no idea. So it was there was synchronicity in it. You know, I mean, it was just like meant to it was, be. I mean, it was it was a beautiful, beautiful film. It was a this this unlikely friendship. I think a lot of us are finding ourselves in and maybe some unlikely conversations, you know, some hard conversations. And so to see two people from um, experiences in life that were so different, but found so much common ground, it was a really beautiful thing to see. Tiffany, I have not seen you since you won your Grammy. And considering that you made history winning it, you know, the, the first black woman since Whoopi Goldberg, the year I was born in 1986, we saw your tears. But since then, I wonder, has it sunk into you that you are living the dream life, that, right? That, that, that prayer that you had in the Geo Metro, you're now living that life day in and day out. Yeah, and, it, 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 and I, I wish I'd have been a little bit more specific in my prayers in that Geo Metro, because I'm <laughs> exactly what I asked for, and then even more, and I'm so grateful and so thankful. And sometimes I have to pinch myself. And, you know, I won, I won that Grammy. I'm still waiting for it to show up. Yeah, I haven't showed up yet. Wait, you don't have it yet? Don't have it yet. So it's like it's real, but not all the way official, official real. To Where are you going to put it? Hand on my fireplace right next to my Emmy that I yes. won. But, you yes. Know, so, so I'm super grateful and thankful. And it's like every day it's it gets better and better and better. It's heavy, though. And now I know why I was living in that Geo Metro. And I know why I was going through the trials and tribulations I was going through because success, success is heavy. You have to be strong enough to carry it. Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah. Period. You know, it's it's so funny. We are days away from the Oscars, right? The big, that big, big show with a usually with a big, big host. Billy, you have hosted the Oscars before. Tiffany, I remember a conversation between you and Dave Chappelle at Jennifer Lopez's house. Oh yeah. About hosting the Oscars. Billy, I just want you to, what would be the tip? What would be, how do we get Tiffany 
on the stage to host the Oscars soon. That I have no idea. That that's that I don't know. But my only advice, I mean, I've done it nine times. Right. This is um, comfortable shoes. Comfortable shoes. <laughs> 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 Tiffany, if they called, would you do it? Um boy, boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of responsibility. I feel like if if they called and they said you, Billy, and Whoopi Goldberg will be hosting. I would be like, yeah. Ooh, Man. that would be good. That Man. would be good. Okay, my last question before I go. The, the, in the spirit of the Friends reboot, uh, Billy, you and Robin Williams had one of the most iconic guest appearances on the show. And we've heard that it almost kind of didn't happen and that your lines were totally improvised. Is that true? What was that? Do, what do you remember about that appearance? Uh, I remember we were, we was, Robin and I were shooting a film on the lot where, where Friends was shooting at Warner Brothers, I guess. And they said, do you want to come over and do a little cameo thing? And we, okay, we we're in the wardrobe from the movie. And what, what, what are we, what's the scene? Well, they did this, this, but you'd be sitting here and you're talking about something else. And what's the something else? Whatever you guys want to do. So right. we just did it. Um, sitting amongst that group of brilliant, you know, actors, and, and it just happened. And then we walked out, and I'd never seen them again. Okay, tell me this before. Th this is the last thing between us. Had you ever seen an episode of Friends before that day? Um, yeah, a couple, but only a couple. Okay, okay. I just wonder. I, you know, because you never know. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I have so enjoyed this. The movie was really a special one. Your performances, your connection was something really beautiful to see. I think we all needed it. Uh, perfect, perfect timing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.